many Indians are celebrating the Black Lives Matter movement, pulling down the statue of the slave trader owner Edward Colston in Bristol. But in India, we have my new statue installed in front of the Rastatan High Court and many more symbols that encourage casteism like Brahmins only houses. Yet we never show the slightest interest in even rejecting them, let alone pulling them down. What are your comments about this? Um, now, this is what's happening over here in America, y'all. Y'all just have to look at I know this is kind of boring to some of y'all. But and I had to break it down in so many parts because it's important that I get all of this out. And for those of y'all who get it, maybe you can explain um, the ones that want to be politically um, motivated and, and, you know, got questions. I thought this was a very, very good article breaking down the caste system and what we living in right now in America. And they want to make us the permanent caste, the permanent uh, the permanent down uh, trotting, the one that every but the little engine that can't. And let me just put it like that: everybody eating off of, everybody feeding off of us, taking our struggle, using it, making it their own. And when I say my, I'm talking my lineage, Adolf. Okay, I'm I am a descendant of a slave. And I, 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 I share no shame in that. And so what happens is when you don't get people that really want to be one with that, they start uh, try to put themselves in every kind of category and all kinds of things. And, you know, uh, and it's important that we understand that whether we were already here and just like the movie 12 Years a Slave, whether we were already here indigenous and then they uh, put us in chains at the end of the day, this caste system is where we're at here in America. I was just talking about we're always build. They're always using black people to build stuff up. Like when we built up the worst thing that I think is the biggest insult to y'all, in case some of y'all are too young to remember, Fox News. Fox, when it first came out, was all black. All the black shows, all, you know, the new shows coming out. I think Martin came out on, on Fox. A whole lot of these shows. Um, Living Color, I don't know. A lot of them came out first on Fox. Johnny Depp and them. Okay? And once we built them up so they can compete with the other stations and made them just as hot they kicked us all the way to the curb and start doing the Sean Hannity and the uh, what's the other races uh, dudes, Sean Hannity's and the Tucker Carlson type of show. Look what they did to us. Facebook. We use Facebook more than any damn body. Anybody. Look at the numbers. What the numbers bear. Look at the racism that that corporation is pulling and data and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, analytics that they're using to figure out how to do the race game with black folks. ADOS. See, everything that's geared towards negative and how we're going to break somebody down and, and, and how we're going to take advantage... The victim is always Adolf. Okay? But they want to use the Adolf story to come over here and integrate themselves in the greatest country at one time that ever was. No. Uh-uh. Because if we don't get it, y'all, y'all should have a mindset that if we don't get it, nobody get it. I don't give a damn what the boule say. I don't, forget about that waiting game. How many years you going to wait? How long? How long? Ain't that what Dr. King said? How long? Well, in due time, you guys, I'm here to say time is due. Time is due. Y'all better hold, we got a whole judge, uh, uh, I mean, um, Joe Biden 
and Kamala Harris. And and we already know you got one responsible for the crime bill and the other one that said, I'm never, ever, ever going to do anything that just uh, uh, benefits black people. But you will watch her do some shit that just benefit Indian people. We better wake up. We better wake up. Anyway, in the, she said, we live in a caste a Hindu nationalist state. We are very far away from the day when statues like this will be removed or pulled down. We are at the stage when they are being installed and celebrated. And sadly, even people who were once part of radical movements like the Dalit Panthers have joined hands with these new rulers. Sound familiar, Kanye West? Uh, 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 President Bush doesn't like black people. Uh, uh, uh. Now, I'm not necessarily I said I agree with that, or I, you know, but that's what he said. And look at him now. He's in the hands of these new rulers. The uprising we are seeing in the U.S. today is a result of years of organizing, fighting, memorializing, and of poetry, art, music, literature that has made the story of African Americans told by themselves a living, breathing presence about a new generation of Americans across the racial divide feel shame and fury about. This display of solidarity is an amazing thing. Question. Do you think that the lockdown and other state of exception acts in India were were the right measures to fight COVID-19 or were they hastily decisions which have thrown the lives of so many into total havoc? Also, what is your opinion on the sudden reopening and unlock now? The first COVID-19, this is the answer. The first COVID-19 case in India was reported on January 30th. Even after the WHO announced that the pandemic uh, was a pandemic on March 11th. The Minister of Health said it was not an health emergency. When they should have shut international airports and quarantined international passengers, they did not. Perhaps this was because Trump was coming. My God. He arrived in the last week of February. Thousands of people flew in from the U.S. to Mumbai, Mumbai, Mumbai and Ahmedabad to attend the Namaste Trump rally, which hundreds of thousands attended. Wow. Now, those two cities battered by coronavirus. Is it a coincidence? How does one justify the stigmatization, stigmatization of the of the Talibagi Jamaat and the glorification of the Namaste Trump? Instead of starting at the top, Quarantine the flying classes, the government waited. And so the working classes paid the price. When the lockdown was announced, with four hours notice, there were 545 cases with 10 deaths. It was a cut and paste lockdown imported from Italy and Spain. Who did it to impose social distancing? The calamity that this complete absence of planning has led to is a crime against humanity, just like in America. In India, only the elite could physically distance themselves. The poor were physically compressed in slums and in tiny little homes, in unauthorized colonies. God, this shit got trilateral commission written all over it, don't it? Let's get rid of these people. Y'all know how many people is in India. Get rid of the unwanted populations here. They've done it all throughout 
they're dis, you know, these people are devils, are diabolical devils. The elite, they're, they're, they're devils. Just like they carved up Africa for the four European countries. They got people all over the place practicing this damn nightmarish of white dominant and straight up Dr. Fives type of madness. While Operation Van de Brom flew Indians stranded in foreign countries' home, millions of desperate working class people stranded in cities with no shelter, food, or money, no transportation, began walking thousands of kilometers home to their villages. Hundreds of thousands were forcibly held in quarantine camps and then allowed to leave, jammed in buses and trains, and carrying the virus with them. Listen, y'all, please listen. It showed that the prime minister, cunning as he is about how to win elections, had no clue about the country he runs. No clue, massive pride, no attempt to seek expert opinion. So, this does it sound like something that we're familiar with? He locked down 1.38 billion people with four hours notice. Why? How? Because he could. Because everybody, politicians, bureaucrats, business people, industrialists, and even his own colleagues in the BJP is terrified of the consequences of speaking up. They got pe Trump like people in everywhere. See the see how the crown work, y'all? See how it work? How they put their puppets up in place? Everybody's brains are either frozen with fear or preoccupied <laughs> about speaking up. Excuse me. About speaking up. <laughs> this is too crazy. Everybody's brains are either frozen with fear or preoccupied by how to please him. Y'all hear me? How to win favor. So we allow him to destroy our country. He has hammered us on both ends. Wow. Wow. Y'all better hear. Y'all better recognize. I'm going to come back with the final. <clears throat> 